It seems that a lot of people have been trying to create WordPress blocks and themes using PineGrow lately, and they've been running into some problems. So I thought I'd point out what the big issue is and possibly some solutions to get around it. Almost all the problems that I've seen so far come down to one thing, and that's Tailwind's preflight. Preflight is a set of base styles that runs with Tailwind, and it does some pretty significant things to a layout. For example, it's going to remove the default margins on a bunch of elements. It's going to unstyle your headings. It's going to unstyle your lists. It does some things for accessibility. It does some things that I really do like here um, with making images block level and uh, adding some uh, parent width constraints. Um, it changes your border styles and it does a few other things. What that means in practice is that a lot of styles that blocks inside of WordPress rely on are going to get modified and overwritten because of preflight. Let's take a look at this outside of WordPress just for a minute so that you can see what's happening. Here I have a sample page set up and almost all the styles are coming directly from the browser. Nothing's happening from WordPress or anyplace else. You can see that headings have some default styles already set by the browser. Paragraphs have some default spacing set by the browser. And lists have some styling set. Now I'm going to come into PineGrow and I'm going to attach our Tailwind CSS that includes the preflight reset. And you can see that by attaching that style sheet, it already stripped all those things out. When I refresh our page, our headings are unset, spacing's all gone, lists look all jacked up. It's just not very pretty. Now let's see what happens when we create a block that has Tailwind and Preflight baked in. This is just a sample layout that I grabbed from Tailwind UI, and it looks pretty nice on here. On WordPress, I have a very similar page to the one that we saw before that had style set, except this time, instead of being HTML, they're blocks. And you can see here, we've got some basic heading styles, some spacing for paragraphs, lists are styled, all sorts of things are styled on here. Now, when I come in to edit the page and I add our Tailwind block, you'll see what happens. The block adds nicely, everything looks correct. We're gonna update the page and refresh. And again, on the front end, everything looks great. But you see what's happened to all the styles on the site from the blocks. Those styles from the preset now impact the entire site and they're causing all these things to get out of whack. So the big question now is how do we fix this? And it's pretty easy to do inside of PineGrow, although it's not 100% foolproof. The best thing to do really is to come over here to the design tab and all the way at the bottom, you've got this checkbox to disable preflight. Now watch what happens when I click this. You notice that some of the styling on this design have changed. And that's something that you might see with some blocks that you copy from other places. This layout's especially bad because it does some funny things with border shadows, and there's really no way to get around that inside of Tailwind without writing some custom CSS. But let's go ahead and just export this block as it is anyway, so that we can see what's happening again to WordPress on the front end. So I'm back here in the block editor, and we're going to refresh. And you can see that the updated block is now in place. And as we scroll down, at least in the editor, things are looking much better. And on the front end, when we refresh, again, we see that the outlines are not working, but our styles are back because the reset isn't stepping all over them. So for a lot of layouts, you might just need to come in and add some extra styling to make them look the way you want. Sometimes it'll take some custom CSS if Tailwind doesn't have the right classes available though. One other thing that really could help with this is using PineGrow's new live preview feature that would let you select a page, like the style and block demo page. And now we can see our block in the context of that page. So we can see some of the styles from the page and the theme that are being applied to this. It's a little bit hard to tell here because they look so similar. So let's come over to the display mode and I'm gonna choose uh, show in content. And now it's going to insert this block into the content and you can see that it's using the uh, width of the content, uh, which isn't necessarily what we want. Um, but you can see what's happening with the styles. So for this example, I'll go back here to display mode and say replace body. And that way we can see everything here. So you know, certain things that we can see, like I want my links to not be underlined. I would need to come in and uh, for example, grab one of these guys and say that my text decoration should be none. And now it's no longer underlined. So just little things like that, you'll need to come in if for whatever reason you need to override whatever's happening inside of WordPress or add some things that weren't there with the component library that you copied from. Now there is one other issue you might come across and that's if you forget to attach your style sheets to your block. You might end up with a page that looks a little bit like this where 
The component that you put in there has absolutely no styles at all, but everything else looks just fine. To fix that, you come into Pine Grow and you select the block element. And here under your block actions, you choose more options. And you need to have a style sheet and an editor style sheet. So the style sheet, we're going to just choose our Tailwind theme directory and choose tailwind.css. And let's save and export this. So now you see when we refresh the page, it looks just fine. But the editor's got some weird styles. So for example, this buy plan that's black right now should be white. So to fix that, we need to come in and under editor styles, we choose this tailwind for WP editor.css file. And this is automatically generated for us by Pine Grow. And what that does is it overrides some of the block editor styles that conflict with the tailwind styles. So now we'll save this and we'll refresh this page. And it looks like it's corrected some of the styles, but not all of them. So for example, again, this by plan is still black and let's just find out why that is. This color probably has a higher specificity than anything that we've included with the block. And uh, this is one of those quirks of WordPress and the way that the block editor works. It likes to load a lot of these styles in line or on the page. Those are always going to have a higher specificity than what we include on a CSS style sheet. So I'm not going to bore you all by going in. We could write some custom CSS to attach to this to, to override it and put important on there. It gets really ugly really fast. Um, the block editor is, is kind of a mess in that regard. But for most things, you can see that it's just fine. It looks mostly the way that we want it to look and it works correct on the front end. Those are the two biggest things that I've seen regarding Pine Grow and WordPress and Tailwind. Hopefully this video gives you some of the tools that you need to make your blocks and your themes just a little bit easier.